forecasting and scenarios are very useful in exploring what may happen, but less so in determining how to make these future possibilities occur. This is especially true for wicked problems, ones that we don't understand, and we're starting from where we are have not led to solutions. Einstein famously expressed this as we cannot solve our problems with the same thinking used when we created them. Now, backcasting is a process of deconstructing the narratives developed for scenarios and developing the steps required to bring such scenario outcomes into being. It is a method in which the preferred future is envisaged and then the steps defined to attain it, rather than taking steps that are merely a continuation of present methods extrapolated into the future. Backcasting uses a very important digital technologies process, decomposition, in which large complex problems are broken down to the point at which they become understood and manageable. Where there may be no identifiable process to go from the present to the preferred future scenario, by breaking this process down into simpler and simpler steps until a way of moving between each step is achievable, a solution to otherwise intractable problems may be found. And this is the power of backcasting. But in building forecasts, scenarios and backcasts, it is often helpful to represent data in various ways. Tables, graphs, infographics and dashboards. This can help students to better understand how changes to some data affect others and how collections of data can show relationships between this data. There are many templates you can use to develop dashboards and you can consider them as dynamic infographics where gauges and graphs change in response to changes in the values of spreadsheet cells. If using online spreadsheet tools, online dashboard tools or Excel 2016, you can even connect to live data sources where the visualizations change continuously in response to live data feeds, such as from weather stations. <laughs>